Am I the asshole? For telling my husband I'd rather nobody use my holiday booking out of spite? My husband and I have been together for five years, married for three. We're both athletic people, or at least I used to be, so we've been planning a holiday for the past year, without going into major details it's an expensive by my standards holiday and it would have involved a lot of hiking, I was looking forward to it. I was in an accident recently and, once again without going into much detail as it's triggering, lost my leg. It's upsetting but I'm not in a place to openly speak about it outside of therapy, obviously due to this recent, restriction, I'm unable to do what we'd planned for our holiday. I hadn't thought about the holiday, it's non-refundable, I had expected my husband to not want to go, currently his family haven't asked once now I am and my family claim it's hard to be around me because they don't know how to support me whatever. He said yesterday he invited his sister in my place, I was baffled because I expected him to support me he said it's not for two months, I'm like so? Cancel and something we can both do, he said he needs a break that he's been supporting me, he deserves this and he was also looking forward to it. So I said you go, but I paid for my spot so no she can't use it. He asked if I'm being serious that it's spiteful, his sister hasn't done anything, I said she hasn't asked me once how I'm doing. She texted me last week for £150 why should she get a free holiday? Anyway, he's upset claiming he'll still go and pay for his sister which he won't, since a it's expensive and b last I checked fully booked. Am I the asshole? I'd ask family or friends, but I don't feel like texting them. Info have you checked insurance? Maybe the holiday company will buy sympathetic if you explain. You may get a refund or alternative holiday that you can do. Not the asshole. Do you have travel insurance? Because your accident should allow you to claim the whole trip cost back including your traveling companions. Even if you don't, an email and copy of a medical letter would trigger many hotels airlines to refund you even if this is outside their TCs. Sending good wishes. Not the asshole. This feels very callous to me. I can't imagine how someone could enjoy a holiday when a person they love is at home hurting. I'd be glued to you up. I feel like I want to come help you now and I am a freaking internet stranger. I am so sorry this happened to you and I hope the people in your life see what you are going through isn't about them. Not the asshole. And OP non-refundable is often negotiable. Especially if you lost a leg. You might be able to cancel it and get the money back. Not the asshole especially when the sister hasn't been there for you. I also don't think it would make you the asshole if you were upset about your husband not agreeing to plan a new vacation you could both participate in. I understand he might need a break and that's fine, but does the break have to be going on a vacation you had originally planned to spend together and taking someone else in your place? Plus after everything you've been through, I'm sure you could also use a break. Not the asshole war OP I'm so sorry to hear about what's happened. You out of anybody in this story deserve a fucking break. How rude of your partner to just go anyway, leaving you alone to overthink and go crazy about something you were desperate to do. It's incredibly selfish of him. His sister can't even give you a message or even text saying thanks for giving me your holiday. You are so not the asshole it's unbelievable. Not the asshole your trauma is still fresh and you're still working on getting through it, which is completely understandable. Looks like at best, your husband is falling for the sunk cost fallacy regarding the trip being non-refundable. At worst, he's an inconsiderate prick. Not the asshole. It's crazy inconsiderate for him to just plan to go on the holiday with someone else. Not the asshole. That's cruel as hell. Not the asshole. Everyone around you sounds cold. I'm sure you also need a break from what happened to you and it's never coming. You husband and his family sound like real pieces of work. I'm sorry it's been hard and I hope it gets better for you. But Not the asshole. Way for everyone to make your situation about anyone but you. Yes, people might not know how to treat you now. But their discomfort is not the issue here you should be the priority while you are dealing with a life-changing situation. Or maybe they could ask you how can we help or be there for you? It's not that hard. As someone else said, people show you who they are when tragedy strikes. Believe them. Not the asshole. 100 and I'm so sorry for what has happened to you. I hope you find good people to support you through this terrible time. Husband however major ah. Uh. Not the asshole. You'd obviously be upset since you lost your leg recently. His family wants to avoid you because it makes them uncomfortable. He will still go on vacation anyway. It's like you have no support. That sucks. Until you just had a major loss and you're not going to be okay for some time. The holiday isn't for two months, 
but you're not going to magically heal like in a video game. Him going on your super cute active couples trip without you is extra lame. Not the asshole. All the best to you for your recovery. Contact the travel agency and ask for a refund. In cases like this sometimes the non-refundable become refundable. I'm sorry you recently lost your leg and your husband wants to still go on holiday and without you. You're not the asshole but him and his family are. People show you who they are when tragedy strikes pay close attention to how you've been treated. Not the asshole. He could go, but I may not be there when he gets back. You just had a life-altering event happen. He says he's been supporting you but needs a break, okay, understandable, but the trip you two planned together? Inviting his sister to go in your place, that you paid for, without even asking you first? The sister that hasn't checked on you, asked how you are doing, but did call to ask for money, nope. Honestly not the asshole how could he look at you and say that? What a heartless thing to do to someone. Not the asshole. It's like he doesn't even care what happened to you or what you're going through. Sure I get it was a life change for him too, and couldn't have been easy for him to watch you going through, but now is not the time for him to take off on a trip you were originally going to go on. I'm so sorry you're going through this. You've barely begun to grieve the loss of what your life was and haven't adapted to the new life you're living now. My friend lost her leg, it was, a her to go through. Not the asshole but your husband sure is. If you're determined for her not to go, can't you just cancel? I know you said it's non-refundable, but this might give you peace of mind. Not the asshole, but sadly, many of your relationships are going to change as a result from this. I don't have first-hand experience, but I watched someone else go through it. He lost several of his closest relationships. He's recovered beautifully though in all aspects and has some fantastic people in his life now. It looks like your husband and in-laws might be a casualty of this. I'm sorry you're going through it for whatever it's worth. Ask him to pay for a vacation for the same price with someone you choose. Not the asshole. Well very definitely not the asshole but husband and his family are. So sorry you are going through this. So husband is tired after two months of supporting you, what about the rest of your married life? Not the asshole. Husband is an offer still planning to go, I'm sure OP could use a break as well. As for mooching sister, she's an ah too. I'd be open to her buying out the package, but I fully endorse OP not giving the ticket to her. Joint finances might make ownership murky, but husband is on the verge of a mistake here. Not the asshole I'd be so pissed. I understand he may need a break to but this is something huge that happened to you didn't expect you to say you lost a leg, I am so very sorry. It was a trip planned for both of you. You'd think he would maybe plan something else that you both can comfortably enjoy. Or even just speaking to you about it. Who knows maybe if he came to you about it right, you may have even said it was fine but we shall never know since he decided to make that decision on his own. Aw oh boy this is TikTok material not the asshole you need a better husband. Not the asshole. You both wanted to go so why does he only get to go? Plus, at the very least he could have let you choose who took your place, but instead he brought his sister. Not the asshole. You're going through a very traumatic life change and I'm sorry no one has been supportive. You don't have to answer if you don't want to but couldn't he have found other stuff you both could do at the same place besides hiking? If not he could have always found something much less expensive and closer for you two to do. Not the asshole your husband is prioritizing a little trip over being supportive for you. You're not asking for much, in fact it's the bare minimum. Not the asshole. Not the asshole but do call the resort and explain the situation. It's very possible they could find someone else to take your place and refund your money in this circumstance. It never hurts to ask. Good luck. Info Is it possible that family is reaching out to your husband to ask how you are, etc? This sounds like a sudden shocking situation, and unfortunately many people don't know how to deal with it directly, such as reaching out to you, rather than him. They may be afraid of triggering you, saying something wrong, etc. Either way, I wish you the best and hope you get the support you deserve. Hey, friend, 45 yo lady amputee. Save my username and reach out if you ever need to talk lady amputee stuff. Sending love. Not the asshole. I can't even imagine why he thinks going on this trip with you is okay. He should be trying to get money back and spend it on an accessible active trip later. Not the asshole. I think the best thing to do is to claim on your travel insurance and then take another, more suitable, trip. Not the asshole. You lost a leg. That's incredibly traumatic and it's going to take time to come to grips with that. 
I think your husband and your family are being unsupportive. He needs a break? He still has two legs. He should be doing whatever he can to help you through this not taking a vacation without you. Not the asshole but be prepared for the possibility he won't be able to stick it out, and be supportive. The statistics of partners leaving when serious or chronic illness come up skews very heavily to the men leaving their wives when she has an issue. Not the asshole your marriage is in trouble. Good luck with your recovery.